Well, we're now more than five hours into the 11th day of the United Auto Workers strike against the big three. And let's take a look now at the growing footprint of this strike. Workers at 38 GM and Stellantis parts distribution centers from coast to coast walked off the job at noon on Friday. Now 14 of them are right here in our state and they joined Ford's Michigan assembly plant in Wayne, which was caught up in the first phase of the stand up strike. And now the nation's top leaders are stepping into the debate and straight into the picket line. President Joe Biden arrives tomorrow. Just a day later, former President Trump will be here in Metro Detroit. And 7 Action News reporter Kira Hay has more on their visits from the picket line in Pontiac this morning. Kira, what's the latest? Good morning. Yeah, I'm here at the GM Pontiac Redistribution Center where there's a couple of hundred people in the parts and distribution center that are now on strike. Now I'm told that everyone from the parts department was on strike over the weekend, but this is actually the first shift, so they'll be switching over here pretty soon. Uh, but when I spoke to them this morning, they tell me they have mixed reaction about these big names coming to join them on the picket line. They say one, it's good because it's going to bring national attention to this issue. But on the other hand, they believe that this is an issue that's between the UAW and the big three and the government should not be involved. So tomorrow, President Biden will join UAW members on the picket line with the president posting. He will stand in solidarity with men and women of the UAW as they fight for a fair share of the value they help to create, adding it's time for a win win agreement. And then on Wednesday night, former President Donald Trump will be in Macomb County. He's going to be speaking to four former and current UAW members at Drake Enterprise. UAW President Sean Fain has publicly denounced Trump's visit, saying he's the type of billionaire the UAW fights against. Now, local politicians also chiming in with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist saying the government should stay at bay. These are negotiations between the UAW and the auto companies, not between the state of Michigan or any other parties. And so we're making sure that both sides are talking to one another, which is the only conversation that needs to happen. That's the only conversation that's going to resolve anything. Now, initially, President Biden was going to send two White House aides here to Detroit to help with the negotiation process. But last week, he decided not to do that again, leading into this debate that this is between the UAW and the big three. Now, at this time, we're not sure which line President Biden will be joining on the picket line, but we will stay on top of that. And of course, we'll cover it off for you. Live in Pontiac, I'm Kiara Hay. 7 Action News. Yeah, certainly uh, putting a real spotlight, not just on the union effort, but right here in Michigan. Thank you so much, Kiara.